In 1980, the heart of Europe lies hidden from the rest of the world behind a veil of deadly radiation. Look beyond the veil to the past and see how it all happened. Similarly to our timeline, this story began in September 1939 when German forces invaded Poland. Emboldened by his victory in Poland, Hitler invaded France a year later and easily took control of Paris and most of France. Despite growing resistance in the countries they occupied, Nazi Germany felt confident enough to launch an attack in Africa in 1942. Their target was the Katanga Plateau, rich in precious metals and rare elements such as rhodium and uranium. These elements would allow the Nazis to create something entirely new, nuclear weapons. With deposits under their control, Nazi scientists were able to make tremendous advancements in the research on May 1, 1943, Hitler and his allies launched an attack on its arch enemy, the Soviet Union. The extensively planned offensive involved over four million soldiers in a direct strike that came as a complete surprise to Stalin and the Red Army. By the end of 1943, the symbol of the Soviet Union was crushed when Moscow fell to the triumphant Germans. Although initially propelled by the success of their surprise attack, Nazi Germany lost the upper hand as their conflict with the USSR stretched over the next few years with neither side able to regain it. Despite the lack of progress on the battlefield, Nazi scientists made history in their laboratories as they refined the ultimate weapon, the Vergeltungswaffe. Nazi Germany might have gone on, progressing almost unopposed, but in 1955, they sank an American civilian ship killing 1,198 people. It was an offense the U.S. could not ignore. The outraged American people not only allowed their president to go to war with Germany, they demanded he do so. The first target of the Allies' newest member was Africa. By 1958, the Nazis were cut off from the resources of the Katanga Plateau. Despite this victory against the Axis powers, the Nazis' nuclear program continued forward. Their scientists were already adapting the latest generation of V-3 rockets to carry nuclear warheads. Finally, on May 15, 1960, the Allies launched a massive airborne operation, the Normandy Landing. Upon hearing this, the Russians began their great offense against Nazi Germany five days later. Fighting on two fronts, the Germans quickly withdrew from the east and west. By September 1st, Soviet forces had occupied the length of the Bug River, while at the same time, the Allies had reached the German border before World War II. Realizing that any further defense was pointless, Nazi command gathered the most vital citizens into bunkers built to house the future of Germany. They'd made the decision to take the final step, a nuclear holocaust. Little did the Nazis know, the Polish resistance had gotten wind of their plan and infiltrated one of the bunkers before the rockets launched. Now in 1980, the bunker stands empty in a nuclear wasteland. What happened in the bunker? Discover the story of Paradise Lost.